The last round of Can-Am Grand National Cross Country Racing featured what may have been the best battle in the history of this tour. As Charlie Mullins and Josh Strang battled wheel to wheel for three hours until Mullins threw away the lead in the last turn. Look for more action like this next. We are in recovery mode in the Can-Am Grand National Cross Country Series for Bikes. Hello everyone, welcome to Racer TV. Jason Wygant here, your host. What a race that we witnessed the last time we went GNCC racing for bikes in North Carolina. Now we move to South Carolina for the Pirelli Big Buck GNCC in Union, South Carolina. Now, we had an epic battle in our hands the last time we raced. This bike right here, the number one machine of Josh Strang, and here's Josh himself, took the win but not before an epic battle with Charlie Mullins. They went at it for the entire three-hour event. Mullins had the lead in the last turn and fell and finished second. So now the question is, can Mullins bounce back mentally today? Let's send it to Krista Shaw to find out. All right, Charlie Mullins, you had a great race going for you in North Carolina. Unfortunately, it, en it ended up being a heartbreaker after you washed out in the last turn. How do you rebound from something like that and come back with confidence you need to win more races? Yeah, it was tough, you know, tough couple days after the race, but, you know, I got over it, and, you know, I did a, a National Enduro last weekend in Texas and was able to win that, so, you know, things are rolling for me in the KTM, so, you know, it's uh, just one of those things that kind of suck, but, you know, I learned a lot from that race, and, you know, more good than bad came out of it, so, you know, I feel good, ready for, you know, today. I think it's going to be pretty good. You know, the temperatures are pretty cool, and, you know, it's not too dry and dusty, so I think it's going to be a good day. All right, well, good luck out there. All right, thanks. All right, Josh, some pressure can be expected from defending the championship title. Do you feel like a weight was lifted off your shoulders after getting your first win of the season at Steel Creek? Yeah, it was definitely good to get the first win at, uh, at Steel Creek um, two weeks ago, so uh, real happy to get it and, uh, and take over the points lead too, which is important for me. And, and uh, the first two rounds for me were tough, and, and uh, I felt like I could win those ones, just just didn't go my way. And, and Steel Creek, I was lucky enough. Charlie went down there in the last corner, so I was unlucky for him. But uh, but I mean, I was there at the end of the race, and that's that's what what you're supposed to do. So uh, same plan here today, and and uh, hopefully get out to a good start and, and put the FMF Nikita Suzuki up front. Okay, no doubts about Strang. We'll see if Mullins is ready, and we're also going to find out if anyone else can challenge them. Paul Wibley, Corey Buttrick, maybe Caleb Russell, who we are waiting on uh, to show the potential that he had by winning the Lights Championship. Will it be a two-horse race? Will it only be Mullins versus Strang, or will someone else step up to challenge them today? There you see the track backs with an 11-mile course. We expect to do six laps in three hours. Should be interesting. Let's send it to the start and Rodney Tomlin. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to go GNCC Bunch of KTMs up front early, hard to even tell who's who. You've got Mullins, Russell, Buttrick all right there. 450s, 350s, doesn't matter. Team Orange has got the start dialed in, and it is. Mullins, who's going to grab the early lead. Look at Russell, Buttrick, second and third. Strang elbowing his way through as well. Great pacing off the start. We even got Russell Bobbitt, KTM's Enduro man in the hunt. Here comes Mullins and Russell. They've now been split by Strang. Bobbitt, Buttrick, and that's Kyle Summers, 394, coming over from the West Coast on the Yamaha, up front early. And a terrible start for the number three, Paul Wibley, your 2009 GNCC champ and the winner of round two of the series just a few weeks ago in Georgia. Right now, it's Mullins over Russell. And then Bobbitt, good to see Caleb Russell with a good start. First three rounds have not gone the way he wanted the two-time champ in this class in the XC2 division, now breaking into XC1. So this is XC2 for the 250s. And a whole shot, whoa, and blowing through the second turn, that is, or should I say was Shane O'Banion in the lead. Now, Stuart Baylor and Jesse Robinson, the number 14, the number nine, 
battling it out for the lead. And the young kids on the 250s are off into the woods. And the youngest of all, Stuart Baylor, has secured the lead. And look at the different lines these boys are running to get up these hills. And that line apparently did not work. That is Ted Mullins. That's Charlie Mullins' cousin who had the good start and is now watching the majority of that XC2 class roll right by. He saw Scotty Watkins with the gun. Oh, no, now things are really getting out of control. And look at that move. Morgan Moss on the 423 wheelies over Mullins' down bike and then gets stuck anyway. <laughs> it's a little more calm when you watch things in the XC1 division. And it's an all KTM show right now. Where's Josh Strang? Where's everybody else? They got to make up some ground. Stay tuned. This is going to be good to watch. Welcome back to Cross Country Racing from South Carolina. Charlie Mullins leading the way on the FMF KTM over his young teammate, Caleb Russell, and over the famous Big Buck Creek Jump. And these two have checked out. Nice lead built up here on the second lap for the rest of the field. You see how dynamic these GNCC tracks are. You got the tight stuff down here in the valleys. You got some wide open stuff in the fields that we'll get to later. And the fields, that's where we started this thing. And that's how these two, Mullins and Russell, were able to make this breakaway. We'll give you a replay of the start. This week we thought we'd be cool. Set the camera down here at the whole shot line for your Suzuki slow motion replay. That idea won't last very long. First, you see Mullins edging out Russell for the whole shot. And then Jedediah Haynes, kid out of Pennsylvania, goes down, takes our camera with him. Jedediah back up and running. Our camera, not quite so lucky. But really, the only guys who are happy about these starts are these two FMF KTM boys. Mullins and Russell checking out. We will begin lap number three. Russell with finishes of 12th, 16th, and 4th through the first two, uh, three rounds this year. That's not where he wants to be. He wants to be up front like this, and he's doing a great job hanging on to his uh, more veteran teammate Mullins. I don't want to call Mullins old. He's only 25, but uh, Russell is not even 20 yet. There is Russell Bobbitt. Great job by the Enduro Mastermind. And a guest GNCC appearance in third. And Corey Buttrick in fourth. Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four are KTMs. Josh Strang is going to have to get through that wall of orange if he wants a shot at the win today. Notice how easy and relaxed that these two are able to ride now they've hooked up together. It's got to be a good confidence boost for Russell to be able to follow a teammate and kind of get in the groove of racing on the front row in the big class. They are into the pits for the first time together, and presumably they will leave the pits for the first time together. Actually, Russell with a good quick pit stop might be able to get out first. Not quite. Gap's going to be about the same between Mullins and Russell, both of whom were born and raised in Ohio, but now make their racing homes in North Carolina. So they are very comfortable on this Carolina soil here at the big buck. And how about Bobbitt on the gas on the old school two-stroke, holding his own against Strang, who has now moved around. But, whoa, and Strang almost got taken out. We've got amateur riders out here, and they are crisscrossing this track as well, trying to make their way to the finish line and win their class. Caleb Russell running our Amsoil helmet cam, and he'll give you an idea what Strang was up against. A lot of different lines and a lot of different riders weaving their way through the woods. Hey, we're glad to see Russell up front because we get to follow Mullins with the helmet cam. This is the pace at the front of a Can-Am Grand National Cross Country event. We mentioned you got tight woods, you've got open stuff in the fields, and you got Russell going for the lead and taking it from Mullins. Man, so a first-hand account of how you make passes. We're into the pine forest now, and you can tell Russell is going to wind this thing out, hop on board. And Mullins going to try to get him back. An interesting two different bikes here, the 350 KTM of Russell, the 450 of Mullins. Russell, who has spent the last few years riding the 250 bike in XC2, KTM figures the 350 is the easy transition. Mullins has ridden a couple different brands the last few years, including one of these Suzuki's here. So he's more used to the 450, stuck with that. Strang has moved up to third. He has gotten past Bobbitt. Man, and Bobbitt just struggling to find traction to make it to the top of that hill. But Caleb Russell in the lead, Charlie Mullins in second. The real question now, can Strang make a run at them from third? Not 
going to be easy with these two boys in orange just flooring it. Laugh riders in the way be damned. Although Strang is definitely on the gas as well, bringing Bobbitt with him through the pits. They're not going to stop for fuel this time. They are on the gas, not getting it. Strang wants to make it a three-man race up front. Let's see if he can do it. Can-Am Grand National Cross Country Racing has something for everyone, not just to watch, but to participate in. If you got a utility 4x4 machine in the garage, come out and race it. If you got a dirt bike, come on out and race it. A sport ATV, come on out and race it. We'll show the upcoming schedule in this series. Yeah, we highlight guys like Strang and Mullins battling for the wins in these things, but this series is built on the back of the amateur. Come join us in West Virginia, Ohio, New York. Our southern swing is over. Come join us up north. Charlie Mullins continuing to lead here over the Big Buck Creek jump. Caleb Russell is still in hot pursuit. These two have gone back and forth several times today. But the real man of the move is Josh Strang. Not only are you defending GNCC champ, but the points leader. And that's why he has the white backgrounds on his number plate instead of the red of everyone else. Mullins had that earlier in the year, but uh, led all the way to the last turn of our last race and threw it away. He is determined to get revenge. Now, the book on Mullins has been in the past. When he can ride out front all alone pressure free, he's hard to stop. But if you keep the heat on him, he'll make mistakes. Now, I don't know if Russell is the kind of guy that's going to run it in on him, but as Josh Strang said at the beginning of the show, he just wanted to put himself in position late in that race. He did that. It looked like Mullins was going to crack. He didn't. Mullins basically held on, had that thing. It was going to be a big breakthrough for him to prove that he could win it with that kind of pressure being applied by Strang the whole time until he crashed in the last turn. So if you're Strang, you want to at least get back in touch with the leaders and be able to apply some pressure. If you're Mullins, well, you'll win either way. Pull away if you can, ride easy, or prove once and for all that you can hold it, not just for two hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds, but all the way through the last turn. And he has begun to extend it, as you can see, over Russell. We are past the halfway point now, over an hour and a half into a three-hour race. Gap is about 13 seconds between Mullins and Russell, and it's about 20 seconds between Russell and Strang. He's either dumping water on the back of Russell. It is hot out here today. Uh-oh, here comes Strang. He almost made the pass. He has to stop in the pits as well. So Charlie Mullins all alone out front. All systems go for the number 112. This is where he likes to be. He gets good starts. Extremely fast early in the races. Russell, as you can see, has picked up the pace to try to catch back up. But like I've said, he can put Mullins in this position. He's out front by himself. He is very hard to catch. Strang knows it. He has really got to lock it down on this next lap or two and try to close to the back fender of the 112. If he doesn't, there's no chance he's going to win this one. Mullins isn't going to just give it to him. Russell's a wild card. He has been training extremely hard, we heard, in the offseason in anticipation of battles like this with the established stars like Mullins and Strang. So we'll see if Russell can maintain this pace all the way to the end. He's got pressure now. Strang has caught him. And this is what you expected Strang to do second half of the race. He is going to pour it on. He believes in his fitness. He believes in his strength. And now he has dispatched Russell. So are we now shaping up to see another Mullins versus Strang battle down the stretch? Oh, and a big mistake from Russell. Must have hit a false neutral there. Lost his momentum. These hill climbs, they never look as steep on camera as they are in real life. You miss a gear in that section right there, and you come to a dead stop. Not going to a dead stop is Strang. He is really pressing the pace. And I'll tell you what, he just has confidence in his fitness that late in the race, these things are going to come to him. I know that Mullins is in shape this year. They probably both looked at that last race two different ways. If you're Mullins, you're saying you had it. You just made a mistake. No reason for that. It's not going to happen again. If you're Strang, you're thinking, all I got to do is get close to this guy in the last lap, and I can take it. White flag is out. One lap to go. We'll find out. Whose strategy is going to pay off? Can Josh Strang run Charlie Mullins down, or is Mullins' disappointment in our last race only going to make him stronger today? Stay with us. 
stretch drive here. It is the Pirelli Tire, Big Buck GNCC in Union, South Carolina, not too far from Greenville, Spartanburg. This man, Josh Strang, is in second, trying to run down the man you just saw, this guy, Charlie Mullins, and it is a blitz on the last lap. These two have really brought back old school GNCC. Look at how fast Strang is hitting the corners on the last lap. Now back in the day, this series, the riders kind of felt their way around the first couple of laps. And then the last two laps, they really dropped the hammer. Then they became sprint races where it was all about the start and going fast early. I believe Mullins and Strang have re-perfected the art of that last lap charge. 2009 champ Paul Wibley had a hand in that. He is known for being super fit. Today though, Wibley had a terrible start, was not able to mix it up with these two. But on the last lap, they have something left for sure. They are turning faster lap times than they did early. That is amazing when you consider they've already been riding for two and a half hours plus. Mullins is answering the challenge today. Strang not able to close in. In fact, we are into the field for the last time. And I think this is the last time we will ever talk about pressure, about fitness, about any of those things being factors for Charlie Mullins. He had to bounce back today, and he does. No one challenging him on the last lap this time. Charlie Mullins, a huge bounce back win, a statement to take the victory here at Big Buck. Strang rode awfully hard in the last lap, but could not make any time up. And a breakthrough run here for Caleb Russell. He was up front early. He will finish up on the podium. Nothing to be ashamed of with the two established stars up front. And we still have a battle going in XC2. Stuart Baylor, Jordan Ashburn, couple of teenagers, gonna take it right down to the final stretch. Ashburn and the Yamaha in second. Oh, and he, I believe he goes down, lost the front end pushing it. Baylor doesn't care, he is on the gas. Get out of the way, this kid's coming through. Yes, Ashburn did go down. Baylor is going to hold on for his second victory of the year. These kids in XC2, man, they give it everything they've got. So there's Baylor with the win. Let's go to Krista on the podium with Caleb Russell. All right, Caleb Russell, I know you've got to be tired, but you've got to be excited to get your first XC podium finish. Yeah, it's, uh, it was pretty good today. Um, I, I struggled towards the end, but I had a good start, and uh, I was having fun with Charlie out front. And uh, it's just a real bummer. I, I faded so bad, but um, I'm going to go train and ride hard and uh, come back to the next one swinging. Great job out there. Thank you. Ah, the new blood moving forward. Corey Buttrick fourth, Russ Bobbitt fifth. So how about that? KTM four of the top five spots split by this man, Josh Strang. All right, Josh Strang, another great race for you out there today. You definitely found your groove, but I think it might have been a little bit too late in the race. Yeah, I'm disappointed about today, disappointed in myself. I, uh, I felt like I was the fastest guy there towards the end and, and caught those guys pretty easy. Uh, I just left it too late, I guess. So, uh, I mean, it's my fault. Uh, I won't do it again. Well, tell us a little bit about how you felt on the track. Uh, the first couple laps was, I don't know, I just couldn't get into a groove, and then I put my head down, and, and uh, it came easy, and, and I caught the guys from like a minute down, and, and uh, I mean, I felt like I read good, so I caught them pretty easy, and, and uh, I'm happy about that. I'm just disappointed in myself uh, for what I did, a stupid mistake, and, and uh, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's just disappointing. You can see Strang struggling to find the words there. He is bummed about finishing second in the race and handing the points lead over to Charlie Mullins. Charlie, good run today. All right, Charlie Mullins back up on the box here today. Charlie, you've got to be feeling pretty good. Take us through your race and tell us how you went, how you felt out there. Yeah, I think uh, I think I got the whole shot, which is the first one I got in over a year, probably a year and a half. So that felt good and. Just kind of settled into my pace, and uh, Caleb, he was behind me for the first few laps, and he was putting pressure on me, and actually installed my bike, I think, third lap, and he got around and rode behind him, and uh, he made a mistake. I think he thought we were pitting down pit lane, and um, he slowed down, I got around him, and from there, I just kind of rode my race, and I, I heard, you know, string picked it up a little bit, and so I tried to do the last couple laps to uh, maintain a little bit of a cushion for the end, so. You know, it feels good to get the second win of the year. And there's the final results. In the XC2 class, you saw Ashburn go down and finish second. Jason Thomas, a nice run to finish on the podium in third. DeLong and Watkins round out your top five. Time for your Can-Am race recap. Mullins and Russell got the jump early, and that would prove very large in this race. They not only had the start, but they had the speed on the first couple of laps. 
Russell Poppett was up there, Corey Buttrick. Not shown, though, early is Josh Strang, who lost a bunch of ground in the opening salvo. Russell was able to get the lead from Mullins, hold it for a while. Mullins was able to get him back. Strang was the man of the move. He would move to fourth, to third, then to second. He did indeed make up ground on Mullins in the last couple of laps, but the gap that was built up was just too big for him to get close enough to really challenge for the lead. So if you're Strang, you're saying, I just need one more lap and I'll win this thing. If you're Mullins, you're saying, I got this guy right where I want him. This is going to be a great championship fight all year long. For Krista Shaw, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching GNCC Racing.